People You Should Know is a storytelling collaborative partnership between the Evanston Roundtable, Evanston Chamber of Commerce, and Byline Bank. I'm Michael Axelrude. I graduated Evanston Township High School in um, 2019, so I'm three years removed, and I'm a rising senior at Princeton University. Uh, who am I speaking with today? Mauricio. Mauricio, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. And where exactly, you know, I know you established uh, Supreme Burrito in the, the heart of uh, South Evanston. How exactly did this come to be? You know, what led you specifically to come here and enter the food business? Well, okay. Well, the first the first time when I came to Evanston, that was because I was uh, I was looking for another place to open a restaurant. Before I have a restaurant in Chicago, but I tried to look for another one here in Evanston. So somebody told me there was a good place in Evanston. And uh, somebody told me there was an empty place in here in this plaza. So I come and check it out and I like the people around here. I check it out the community around here and I like the people. Yeah, so, it's really interesting because you have, this is a special area, especially in Evanston, where it's a close uh, community and you're you know, just blocks from the high school. So do you notice anything um, like that in terms of uh, how that impacts your customer base and like the overall culture at Supreme? So, what do you think is very close to the secondary that is here, the community that is all together, that everyone knows how it affects your business? No, it affects me. Well, how can I say it? No, it affects me. Can you tell us about the people that come? Oh, I like, first of all, I like the community. Second, I like the people, the kids, they know me already for, I'm here for 10 years already. So, the kids, they like the burritos, the tacos, so, for me, I like it, you know. I like the communities, everything is close, the school, high school, the community, I like it. So, the people, they know me already for 10 years, and I like the people. I know a lot of people, a lot of kids, new kids, old kids already, they go to the college, new kids coming. So, I like the community, man. So yeah, what would you say your customer base is mostly? Comprised? Most the uh, most the uh, kids, yeah, kids. yeah, the high school kids. But I got a good customers around here for the community. Big families they come in, buy the tacos, and we know a lot of a lot of families they they come to eat here. Nice. And how does that um, impact you know your day to day? Do you enjoy talking with the customers and f making these new relationships as people come and go, especially you know as kids graduate? And other kids come in and fill their place. Well, I like it, man. I like it. Uh, well, I like it when the people coming back, like the guys, they go already to the higher the college. They coming back and say, "Oh, I, my first stop is here in Burrito. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm missing these burritos, man." You, they make you happy that way, you know. The people coming back and they tell you that. So, man, I, I like to talk to the people and I like to to get some more, like how you say. Uh, to know more people. More you know? relationships? Yeah, more relationships, yeah. yeah. Would you say that's like your favorite part of your job is just meeting new people and just establishing yourself in the community? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I know that, you know, everybody being a, uh, an Evanston uh, graduate, everybody, you know, always talks about how when they come back for summer, winter break, whatever, you know, I gotta go to Supreme, I gotta go to Supreme. So it definitely makes sense, you know, that not only is the food good, but, you know, the culture is also good and people look forward to coming to this welcoming place to uh, get a burrito and see a familiar face. Yeah. So, how long did you say you've been? We're here for 10 years already. 10 years? Last month, uh, yeah, last month we got 10 years in here. Okay. Exactly, 10 years. Wow. 10 years in one month today, yeah. Uh, we. Like I told you again, I'm, I'm really happy because the kids coming back and knows, knows the burrito place and knows me and I got my son now working with me for a long time too, so what else, what else I can, you know, I got my son, I got my family working with me and uh, everybody knows this little place. Yeah. So, so that's what makes it so special. That makes it special, yeah. The, the culture and... You know the food. Could you could you speak to the food a little bit? You know what makes the food so special as well. Well, we make it. The, they make the food special because we make everything fresh every single day. We cut the lettuce, the tomato, fresh. The meat is. I got some good guys in the back. They cut the meat fresh every single day. Uh, the lettuce, the tomato. We do the salsas every single day. You can see right now we make the salsas. We make the beans every day. Rice every day. We don't have nothing 
pack it in the cooler for like two, three days. We make the food every single day. That's why maybe that is different, but if uh, another restaurants because we don't, we never get something in the bag for like two, three days. We make everything fresh every single day. Maybe that's the. That's why that is really different by the other restaurants. So that's what separates you from, from other places. Yeah. You just, you know, put in the extra work and kind of make it, you know, a more uh, um, holistic approach in terms of, you know, just every day, even though it might not be the hardest, or it might not, might not be the easiest thing, is you, uh, every day you're making these fresh ingredients. And that's why that is different. And I told you, I got my, I got the best guys in the back. I got my cooks is for like 14 years already working with me in the other place and I bring it here. I got the other guy in the back, the best guy, he cut the meat, he do the salsas. I got, in serious, I got the best employers around here, man. I can tell you, I like these guys, you know, yeah. they help me a lot. I got a lot of people, that's why we make everything fresh. So I got a lot of people to work to make everything fresh. That's great, you know, so would you say that your, um your workers, the culture that, that you've established among, amongst your workers kind of reflects the, the culture that is established amongst, you know, your customers and that kind of translates over. Would you say that that's kind of like the driving that's kind force? Of, yeah. Awesome. And then so, building off, off of this, what do your days consist of? So, well, here in the restaurant, well, I come to work, you know, and I come to open the restaurant and the first thing I look in, I look in the cooler, see what I have to do. After that, we start cooking everything, and after that, we got the customers, right? So when I finish my day, I go into my house and relax and order some stuff for the next day. So basically, opening, cleaning, cooking, just everything. Cooking, the whole, everything, the whole thing. yeah. We do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, do you have any free time? I, I, and this is, I know, a very bu uh, busy, you know, restaurant, but what do you do when your day's off? What is uh, Mauricio's well, hobbies? Sometimes when you got a, a business, everybody knows. When you got a business, you got to take care of your business, right? Family too, but when you open the business, you open a business to work in a business, right? But I have a time, like, I take it two, one or two days off sometimes. And I go with my wife, my kids sometimes to eat, stay home, relax, watching a movie. What else to do, man? Yeah. Go to the park outside, but sometimes you don't have a time when you got a, a business, you know? So pretty simple, you know, just taking days off when, when you can, when but you you can. Know, you're busy, so. Yes, sir. It makes sense, you know, and everybody appreciates all the work you put in. I know that, you know, firsthand, so yeah, thank you for all that. No. Um, uh, and then what do people, what would you say people don't know about your restaurant? Like what goes on behind the scenes that people may not know? Well, right here, I want to, uh, the people knows my employees how to, how they work. I can say how hard they work for me, for the community, for the customers. That's the, for, the first thing I want you guys to see, it. my guys in the back, how they work. They hard work to, to open this restaurant to every single day, got good customers, the customers come in, they go happy because they see everything is, is working good. So that's the first thing I want to see. It. I want to know if you can put it in there for my guys in the back. I, I appreciate my guys, they do everything, man. That's, that's I wanna know the people most, my guys in the back. Because all the time they see me here or my son, but sometimes you don't know the guys in the back, he do a lot of, a lot of work. That's, the peop that's what I wanna know and I wanna say, the customers, they know the people in the, in the back. And then moving on to you know your menu, what what would you say is your most popular item and what is your favorite item? For mine, other that's the al pastor burrito. Yeah, that's very good. I like uh, that too. But the people they like everything around here. They like the burritos, the tortas. I got a lot of customers that they they like it different stuff. But the more more we sell in here is the enchiladas, the green enchiladas, and the steak burritos. This and the state tacos, but after the everything we sell it a lot. But my favorite favorite burrito is Al Pastor burrito. 
contest over here. Yeah, I love that too. You can't and go wrong with that. Well, and I got soups now. My favorite soup is the menudo now, so. I'll have to try it. You have to try it. You want to know? I would or love you to want know. to ask me first? So, what is cow tongue? Um, do people actually eat it? And do white people actually eat cow tongue? Wow, well, look. Well, the, the Spanish people, they know how, what's language, right? Tongue. But the white people, now they start to like it. Because they see when I cook it right here in the front, it's like, what is this? So I know this tongue. I take the tongue out. And, uh, oh my God, that's a big tongue. Now they like it. I give you a little pieces so you can try it. Now a lot of white people, they like it. They like the tongue now. Before, when I started here, nobody eat tongue. Now we're selling like <laughs> maybe about 120 pounds uh, every week of tongue. Wow. So we sell a lot of tongue around. Now the white people, they like it. Yeah. They take a long time to cook. Take seven hours to cook tongue. We boil it out for seven hours, sometimes eight, depends how the how big is it. And we stick the skin out and we cut it. The, the meat inside the skin is the best meat you can get for the, for the cow, wow. the tongue. And that tastes really good. The best meat total the best on the cow? Meat, I promise to you, if you try it, you're going to like it, man. And you, you don't have to, well, I give you a taco, and I don't want to say this is tongue, this is a steak. You try both and you see the difference. Do you eat the outside part of the tongue too? No, just only inside the, the part. Inside? Yeah, you gotta take the skin out and you just gotta eat the, the inside part. You heard it here, come to Supreme Burrito for some uh, cow tongue burritos and tacos, you know. Mauricio will hook you up, yeah. It sounds good, I'm hooked, I gotta try it, you know, so. Yeah, you gotta try it, man, it's, it's, it's really good. You gotta come and try it. Everything is good in here, but if you wanna try like tongue, I got the best tongue around here. You can you can tell. Best cow tongue money can yeah. buy right here in Evanston, Illinois. You heard it here. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? Anything, you know? No. I just say, you know what? Thank you for coming to visit uh, Supreme Burrito. Thank you in the community for uh, supporting me around here. And uh, thank you to the high schools around here. Thank you, you guys, for coming today. And, uh, well, I can... What I can say, you know, thank you, and we're here for 10 years, so I think they like my food. Yeah. So, and so busy every single day, thank you. And what else? Thank you, the community. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very we're much here. for having us. We're here. Giving us, you know, just a small insight into your, your busy life and your busy business, and we're you know, we re really appreciate everything you do for the community. We're here. We're here to help the community anytime. We open uh, 10 to 11, 10 in the morning to 11. Seven days, I mean six days. Sundays we close five o'clock, ten to five, but we're here. We're here. Thank you for coming and uh, thank you the community again.